Okay, my name is Brian Trepanier. I'll be your uh, instructor today, of all things. Never thought I'd be here. Okay, we have a box. That's what we're going to make first in this process of creating vertex animated meshes. We want to create a bounding box of 128 by 128 by 128 at negative 64. Create it. Looks good. Let's go here and Alt W to maximize that screen. Right click to bring up uh, properties. Uh, we're going to turn it off from being renderable and we'll display it as a box. So it'll be a wireframe that you can see through. We'll also click here to maximize it to full screen. Okay, now uh, this is the area that we have to create our entire animation in. So anything that you make can't co go without a 256 size box. If it does, everything screams bloody murder. Um, so build everything within there. So we're going to stick a uh, effect where object. Uh, we'll st stick a super quad in. This is a uh, free plugin available by these folks at effectware.com. Um, you can get it pretty much anywhere. Just look for free 3D Max plugins. Uh, well, we don't want a keyboard entry. I'm not that smart. Okay, so we're going to uh, create a uh, one of these things. Uh, torus, no, a circle, this whatever, whatever the thing's called. One of those things. Um, now we'll just turn on auto key so that we can do some animation to this, and we'll deform it like that, and deform it like that. Then we'll click on this key over here while holding the shift button, shift key or whatever, and drag a copy of that frame over to there. So now it'll go back and looks great. Okay, shrink down, grow up, and loop. This looks good. Okay, so that's pretty much the artistic part of it. Oh no, okay, yeah, we'll go, we'll stick a UV map on this whole thing. Now I have a, uh, a uh, texture already set up. Um, I'm working at 800 by 600 screen size in hopes of capturing a better frame, so stuff's not, I'm not quite used to the layout here. Uh, the diffuse, click on the little box there and bring a bitmap. And then um, I have uh, already in UT 2004, BKT Props 2, textures. Okay, so we got this one here, that's the texture we're going to be using. That's the folder layout, we'll discuss that later, never mind it right now. Um, add it to the uh, material, uh, add the material to this donut, that's what it's called, it's a donut in Canada and I don't know a donut when I see one. Um, here's a, uh, show it inside the viewport, so when you click over here and smooth, there we go, it's textured, it looks great. Go back to wireframe, Alt W to go back to four screens. Now this here uh, is important. Uh, we'll just drag over the selection tool, make sure it's all selected. Um, you have to call it, we're going to call it star 2D because everything else is already set up for a 2C. That was a test one I did yesterday, but the frame just looks ugly, so we'll do it again. But then you have to have 0, 0 there. That's important. Um, so now that's called what it's called. And we're going to go to uh, Tools and Snapshot. And we're going to uh, select the range. And the range is 101 frames because it's from 0 to 100. And then OK. Well, you can see, well, you can't really see it there, but behind it, it's creating all the frames. And then this, this box will disappear when it's done. There it goes. Um, the box is selected. We don't want that. So, anyways, press letter H on your keyboard, and it brings up your selection box. Select everything that is not the box, your bounding box. The bounding box, again, is just around there to. Uh, confine the animation so you know the space you have to work with and now we have that into all those 101 frames of the very various states of that uh, object donut um, captured so we're going to uh, export selected and here's the file uh, setup so we go to Unreal Tournament 2004 I have a folder here BKT props 2 in there there's a classes models and textures folder We'll set this one up in the in the uh, models folder, and we'll call it uh, star 2D. Save, export, textures, uh, yes, and uh, that's it. No, there. Okay. Unreal Tournament 2004 folder. Here is the props folder. 
we will uh, have a drink of water. I'm not used to talking when I do this stuff. Okay, um, in models we have 3ds2unr.exe and the uh, 3ds file we just made, this, this uh, 3ds2unr is a program you just get online. Uh, it's run by DOS. Ah, not DOS. Yes, here we go. Let's make that full screen. I don't know if that makes it any easier to see stuff or not. So the first thing we want to do is change directory, which is the CD, and then C colon slash. Note the slash. This is the opposite slash that you would normally see on the internet. This is for working within your own computer system, so that's putting you into your computer system as the other one which takes you out of your computer system to the internet, just by design, I guess, or that's just when we look at it. Uh, C colon uh, slash UT2004 slash BKT props two because that's the folder and then models and now we're in there uh, bk2 props models we want to do 3s2 unr and then uh, this thing here the line minus sign uh, set proj and i've already done this before but we're going to do it now just so you can see uh, hp pavilion uh, down to the ut2004 and uh, the, f the folder that we want is the BKT pr T props 2 folder and uh, so we select that and what that does is when you use this 3ds2 unr.exe the first time it creates the folders textures models classes within these ones here within that uh, folder that you just told it to it sets it as a project folder so now that we're in there we want to use it to um, convert the uh, 3ds star dot underscore 2d uh, 3ds file into the uh, two files that we need to create the necessary thing to bring into the game so 3ds2 un -r, uh, we go uh, star 2d and then star 2d once more but this time we do dot 3ds so everything looks good imported there we go now we have the underscore a and the underscore d folder uh, folder uh, file I should say that's what uh, the uh, script that we're now going to look on which resides in the classes folder and by the way this uh, 3d the, what we just did created this extra one you see there's one two here called C that's from the test ones that have already been done and then this one here called D that was just created by 3ds2 on R and uh, we just delete that right out of there because I never it's really confusing if you look at it so uh, we just first we're gonna change this to a D and we're gonna change this to a D and then look inside this oh there's too many things in that one so we're not gonna do that one we'll look at this one oh that's not so many so we'll do this one so we change this one to a D and then here we change this to a D and here we change this to a D and uh, loop anim, what this here part here is, is who's telling it how fast to play the animation that is just created. So you can set that to 0.5, set it at 1, it plays exactly as it's come out of 3D Max, but it as interpreted by the game, or you set it for half that, and it's just you check it out when it goes in game, excuse me, and see how it's playing, and then just, just your uh, numbers there accordingly. Ah, uh, I wonder if you heard all that. Okay. So this is all, everything's been changed to D. So the class star 2D mesh extends decoration. So we're going to now find this afterwards underneath the decorations actor folder. So we can just save this one out and it's saved as a UC. Opened up in notepad, by the way, you know, it's just a text file, but it's called a dot UC after the fact. Now this next one here, you already looked at it uh, and it's got a lot of extra stuff in it. So we don't want to just have to change all those two C's to two D's. So what I have is a program called Abbey Word. It's free. So I'll open that up and then just control H brings up this here so where it says uh, star underscore 2C we want it to say underscore 2D and then we replace all of it and now it's changed all those in game so that's great so we have texture stuff here you're gonna have to figure that out after it's not a big deal I've got a folder the texture folder it has a file in it called i underscore 1a dot dds. dds is the uh, texture file format best suited for 
uh, in-game work. And textures is uh, the folder that's inside that BKT underscore props 2 folder residing inside the UT2004 folder on your my C drive. You might have it on a different drive. So this here is a texture that's in there, so you would have to change those textures and do all that stuff yourself, but everything else is 2D. The number of frames, 101 frames, yes, that's what we're bringing in, 101 frames, looks good, everything's great. So out of this, we have to save it as a text file, otherwise it saves all a bunch of other stuff in there that you don't want. So save it as a text, or I'm saving it as a text, you figure out your own way. And now the one that we were looking at here originally, throw that one away, and now the text one that you just got, yeah call that a UC that looks great so now um, we'd have to go over to our systems folder and inside systems folder we have BK2 props to you already that's one that uh, exists that contains the stuff you find on the Cthulhu uh, map demonstrating these types of props uh, but we want to find the uh, want to find the UT 2004 any folder and uh, we scroll down, we find the section where there's all these ones called edit packages. Scroll down and then add one at the end. Yours won't have VKT props already, but mine does. And then add another one, and this one now number two. So this tells the game and everything to reference that to do stuff with it. Uh, so we save that, that's great. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to get lost here. Let's see. Uh, no, that's pretty much it. We go back over to uh, everything is set up in here. Those are all in place. Models in place. Textures in place. Go back. So we'll just watch it inside the uh, actual systems folder. We'll uh, grab the names of BKT Props 2. Already exists in here. That's not supposed to. BK2 props U, that's the one that's used for Cthulhu. That other one, number two, wasn't supposed to exist yet. So you have to delete them out if you don't. UCC doesn't uh, write over top of it, which is what we're going to use now as a program called UCC. It, ha it has to write at those packages, those .u packages, have to not be in existence within the systems folder. Otherwise, UCC says, oh, there's already one there, so I'm not going to write a new one in case UCC screws stuff up by doing that. So it doesn't do it if there's one in there, so you have to delete it. You can write a bat file to uh, take that out. Okay, so we're just going to go to the uh, system folder now. That was just pressing the up arrow to type stuff I've already typed in in DOS. And uh, now we're in there, now we do UCC make. There's a or program in here called UCC. So UCC make, and we do that, and uh, we can watch this stuff happen. You know, it's looking in and saying release, release, release. That's saying it's already got the one that's, there's already one inside the system folder, so it's not gonna do anything. But when it goes look and references BKT underscore props two, it says, oh, there isn't one. So it analyzes everything that I had inside of the folder, and it created the star. So now that's been done. We can uh, go here, see there's no, we deleted it, so, okay, now there's one, 345, that's what we want, BKT props 2, looks good. Now, we should be able to, okay, we start up Unreal Ed, and uh, actor classes, look for decoration, and look for star 2D mesh, there it is, okay, so I'll just open up my, I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to open up my great AAA template, which is just a small, simple room. Make that full screen. Click on that uh, Star 2D Mesh, and the uh, video starts cacking when this stuff's open, so if it gets all choppy, it's not significant to the performance other than the video capture. So now I've placed it in there, and uh, there's no texture on it. We'll, we'll just raise it up a little bit anyways. Uh, so we'll go over to textures inside here. There'll be a folder called BKT props 2. Look the one one little thing and it's called archway 1a So you can notice that inside the uh, When you go looking at its references and that inside the code because just grab the code from the Cthulhu map and and alter that accordingly um, And then send me lots of money for doing it uh, Texture archway 1 1a but inside the folder it was called I 1a so just use that as uh, as, hmm, how did this happen? 
Okay, so now we uh, now that that eye selected, we double click or whatever. You can use the buttons up here um, to bring up the properties for the sphere. No, not the the egg, egg, the donut, and uh, click on display. I don't get out much. <coughs> and then uh, skins empty, just in case. Add use and. There it is, it's skinned up, looks great. So we can close all this, and now what we're going to do is uh, just do a build all and uh, start the game. And there it is in game, working like a charm.